Today I am going to extract acetaminophen from Tylenol pills. To begin, I need to powderize these pills which I do in a coffee grinder after quickly realizing that using a mortar would be a terrible time. There are 200 tablets here which contain 500 milligrams of acetaminophen each. This means my theoretical yield is 100 grams. Once the pills have been completely powdered, I transfer them to a flask along with 200 milliliters of isopropyl and 100 milliliters of ethanol. This will completely dissolve the acetaminophen and leave behind any chemical binders or fillers. Next, I cap my flask and shake vigorously to make sure as much acetaminophen as possible is dissolved. I then transfer this slurry into a beaker and then into a Buckner funnel for vacuum filtration. This filter will collect all the insoluble solids while the acetaminophen saturated alcohol will pass through for collection. The filtrant is then transferred to a crystallization dish to drive off as much moisture as possible. Try to keep this at around 70 C for dehydration. I got a bit impatient and boiled mine, which decomposed some of my acetaminophen. Once the volume is reduced to about 60 milliliters, I remove the dish from the heat to allow the acetaminophen to crystallize. Skip in 25 seconds if you don't want to watch the crystals form. Once the dish had cooled completely, I transferred the crystals to a Buckner funnel to clean them off. Several rinses were done with ice cold water, but since I couldn't get rid of this pinkish brown color I decided on a recrystallization. Recrystallization of the acetaminophen helped get rid of a good deal of color, but as you can see, the crystals are still not perfectly white. I'm not sure what this color is from, but I'm assuming it is an inert substance in the pills that was extracted along with the active chemical. Regardless, since percent yield drops with every recrystallization, I decided to just accept this minor impurity and transfer my product to a tray to dry. Interestingly, after the product was dried and crushed, much of the pink color disappeared. I have no idea why. Leave a comment if you do. My final dry yield was 50 pointer grams, which represents a 50% acetaminophen molecule. I believe I lost most of my product in the initial extraction, and this number could be greatly increased by heating the Tylenol alcohol slurry to 70 C before filtering. I also burned a bit off and certainly lost a bit in recrystallization. If there is any interest, I can try this again and see how I, I can get my percent yield. Follow for more.